All right, BFIT Nation, welcome back to another Motivational Monday. Good morning, team. Good morning, exchange family, and good morning, BFIT Nation. All right, team, we have a special resistance training workout for you today. If you're new to our BFIT Live program, we welcome you. Go ahead and drop us a note in the comments below. Let us know if it's your first time or if you are a veteran with us and have been watching us all year long. Uh, let us know where you're watching from. Uh, we'd love to see all the comments, all the positive uh, reinforcement, all the community support that you always leave in the comments below. So that's awesome to see, team. Uh, let us know where you're watching from once again. Let us know where you're joining us from. Um, today, I have a special guest with me, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning, Roy. Doing good. Excited for our workout today. Absolutely. Thank you so much. It's so great to have you back on. And uh, with today's workout, again, it's a resistance-based workout. So we're working on form, on building strength from foundational movements uh, through today's workout. Again, if you're new, we are going through a live workout for you today. We have four movements that we're going to tackle for today. Our timing is going to be 40 seconds of work, a quick 20 seconds of rest, we have four movements that I will demo for you in a brief second, and then uh, we'll go through four rounds of those with one minute rest in between each of those four rounds. Once again, 40 time minutes, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each of those rounds, team. All right. As we get settled in, grab your towel, grab your water, kind of find that workout space that is um, best for you. Uh, I have my comments up so if you have any comments to leave to myself or sergeant barry or if you have any questions on my end i will be happy to answer as best that i can for us uh, so that way we can be clear on a lot of things if you have any questions on form or any type of movements uh that we need to address so with that be fit nation welcome back and let's get started with today's workout all right team so movement number one if you again once again actually if you have any dumbbells to scale up on the movements go ahead and grab those as well if you have a you know dumbbells or anything that can challenge you throughout the movements that'll be helpful as well so let's start off with movement number one we have an alternating reverse lunge with a lateral raise all right combo movement here on a lower body and upper body movement so we're going to take a stance at the, at the top of our workout space here we're going to take a reverse lunge back so palm is going to be facing us. We're going to take that reverse lunge back, drop that rear knee down, that chest stays up, that front knee tracks at that 90 degree bend. Nice controlled movement here. From there, we're going to stand straight up into that standing position and then go into a lateral raise, all right, with those shoulders making a nice T formation at the standing position. Alternate left leg back, drive up, and then standing at that lateral raise. So make sure we have enough space to go back into that lateral or that reverse lunge and then control that movement up into that lateral raise. That's gonna be movement number one. Movement number two, staying with a pair of dumbbells all the way through this workout. We're gonna head onto the floor here because we have a chest press off of the floor. So plant those feet on the floor and you're gonna lie on your back. From here, your head is going to be pinned onto the floor for support. You're gonna have those elbows touching the floor into that 90 degree bend. So you wanna make sure that those dumbbells are stacked underneath your elbows. You're gonna extend up into that chest press. Uh, palms are facing away and making sure that those dumbbells are lying or actually hovering above our chest area. From there, control that movement down into your chest press and then drive right back up to starting position. That's gonna be our chest press for movement number two, all right? Making sure we pin those shoulder blades down back in into the floor. That's gonna be the best support there and give you the most leverage uh, to push that weight up. All right, staying with two dumbbells, movement number three, bent over T rows. So we're gonna set ourselves up, feet shoulder width apart. As always, a soft bend at those knees. Palms are gonna be facing us. From here, we're gonna hinge at the hips. So push those hips back as if you're pushing in a car door. Bring that back parallel to the floor. If not, just a little bit above that. Palms facing us. Once again, we are going to come up into a T row, making sure that our arms are going to come up in about a 90 degree bend. So 90 degree bend here. We want to feel that target area in that mid to upper back and in your traps. All right. Mid to upper back and your traps. So we have a T row here for movement number three. Most important part with that is we wanna keep our back flat and we wanna keep our head in that neutral position. So we wanna make sure that head is in alignment with that spine. When we push those hips back, 
we should be looking just about two feet in front of us here. So keeping that head down and then coming up into that T row, you're gonna feel that activation and uh, that isolation in your mid double back once again, and your lats and in your traps. All right, into that T row. And last and final movement here, 40 seconds of work. Once again, for our total timing, we're gonna split this time into 20 seconds a piece. So we have 20 seconds on our back of a knee tuck and then 20 seconds of a V up hold. All right, team. So we're gonna come down onto our backs here. Hands can be out in front or off to the side or underneath our glutes here or at our head. We're gonna extend those legs out and then we are gonna come into that knee tuck. All right, so those knees are gonna drive up towards our chest, towards our head, really lifting those hips if we can. Extend all the way out, control that, and then into that knee tuck, all right? 20 seconds of a knee tuck, and then we're gonna go into an isometric hold. So we're just gonna go into a lateral, or actually an, an iso uh, V sit up. So we wanna keep those heels off the floor here, recline back as if you were into a uh, core twist like we've done before. And then we're gonna hold this V sit up for 20 seconds. Hands are gonna be extended out, palms are gonna be facing up. We're reclining back, we are looking up. That's gonna be 20 seconds of a V sit hold, okay? So we're gonna go into a nice contraction movement and then we're gonna go into a nice hold movement for 20 seconds a piece. And that's gonna round out our workout. Those are gonna be the four movements that we're gonna tackle for today. Nice full body, core, strength, all activation, body weight movement, body work movement rather. And that's gonna go through our workout for today. All right, Mark, good to see you in here, Julie. Hi, Julie, welcome to our BFIT Live program. All right, team, let's get started with some dynamic stretching and then we'll go into our workout, which is just under 20 minutes. So get ready to work, team. So before we start every workout here, we like to warm up our bodies, warm up our bodies and get our minds prepared and ready to work. So let's start off with a few dynamic stretches that can be comparable and com you know, complementary to the movements that we're going to tackle for today. So let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch. So we're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back, push those hips forward, feel that stretch in your quad and your hip flexors, and then extend that left arm all the way up and you should feel that stretch in your mid to upper back on your left side and in your shoulder as you come up, rotate or alternate rather left leg and right leg, left arm and right arm. Sit in that hold for as long as you need or as short as you need. All right, team, alternate again, left and right, left and right. And I hope everyone's had a great weekend. Here's the start to our Monday, nice and strong. Way to set the tempo here. Just give us all of the effort that you have for today within this block of our BFIT Live program. There you go. Two more here, one on my side and two. We're gonna go into that reverse lunge with an overhead reach team. So come up to the front of your workout space here. We're gonna take that right leg. We're gonna extend it back into that reverse lunge. Right knee goes down, left knee's at that 90 degree bend, just like we will in movement number one, extending that right arm over to our left side, feeling that stretch in our lats. Again, alternate left leg and right leg. Sit in this movement as long or as short of a period as you need to feel that stretch. We should feel some blood flow moving into our lower body here. Good. There we go. Last two. Nice, good stretch there. Feel that stretch in your side. Last one here. All right, team. Let's go into inchworms here. So we're gonna come to the back of our workout space here. We're gonna slowly lower down, touch our toes, feel that stretch in our hamstring. From here, we're gonna walk our hands out into a high plank position, pause for a second, and then come back towards our toes and really feeling that stretch in our hamstrings and then coming back up to standing position. Nice, retract right back down. Again, walking out of our hands, feeling that pause, that high plank position, and then coming right back Slowly touching our toes, slowly standing right back up. Again, you should feel our core activating into that high plank, feeling our hamstrings stretch down, working on some mobility work here. Nice controlled movements here. If you can extend out a little further than a plank. Let's do that, pause for a second. Come right back up, 
do what we can here. That's uh, three, last one here. Down stretch, little hamstring stretch. Good. Come right back up. All right, team. Let's go into lateral lunges here. Second to last movement here. So nice wide stance here. Feet are fixed forward. We're gonna go ahead and shift over our weight to the left and to the right. You should feel that blood flow uh, moving into our lower body, keeping that chest up, feeling that stretch in the inside of our thighs here. Knees are activated, quads are starting to warm up. Good. There you go. Push those hips forward at the top of the movement here and feel those hip flexors activating, bringing us back to standing position. Good. Last two, last one. All right, team, last one here, YTWs to really think about our shoulders, our upper body for some of the movements for today. Last one here. So nice, strong stance here, feet shoulder width apart, soften at those knees, little verbal cues here. We're gonna extend up into that Y position. Those thumbs are gonna be facing the back of the room here. Back to center here. Again, nice big T formation, really squeezing those shoulder blades back, back to center and a nice big W with those thumbs facing the back of the room here. Back to center, big Y, extend up a little higher here and a little further with that T. Focus on our breathing here. Nice deep breaths in and exhale, nice and slow. Big Y into our big T. Last one here, big W, big inhale. And slowly exhale as you come back to center, regroup, and let's get ready to work, team. I'm gonna get go ahead and start my timer, and then we will get moving. Stacy, hello, and good motivational Monday. I love it. Those were extended goods, by the way. That's why I read it that way. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Stacy. Once again, I know you've been here uh, a lot of Mondays, so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, grab that towel, grab that water, hydrate, and let's get started. As a recap, resistance training, we wanna focus on our foundation, focus on our core fundamental movements, all right? So think about tempo. Think about slowing that tempo down just a little bit, thinking about finding a weight that's challenging for you, but think about control. We wanna be in control at all times with our weight and with our form. So uh, listen for any verbal cues that I may throw out that may help you as uh, we work through each and every movement. So <clears throat> again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds. And let's go with that alternating reverse lunge into a lateral raise in five seconds. So take the top of your workout space here, get ready to reverse lunge back with our right leg and let's go. Reverse lunge, palms are facing you, shoulders are up nice and tall, rotate them back, that can engage our lats. Nice proud chest as we come up to standing position. We have that lateral raise, making that nice T formation with our arms. All right, if we don't have any dumbbells, let's make a nice strong fist and really squeeze. All right, really squeeze. Really think about that lateral raise. Nice control movements up top and that reverse lunge, extending that leg all the way back. Last five seconds. Last rep here, three, two, one and relax, recover 20 seconds here. So keeping with that weight or scaling up, we have a chest press. All right, so we're gonna lay on the floor here. All right, lay on the floor. The soles of our feet are gonna be on the floor here. Weight is up, palms are facing the front of the room. Last in two, one, here we go team, 40 seconds of work. Again, rest that head on the floor, control that weight down as your elbows touch the floor, really drive up into the ceiling here with that chest press. All right, team. Good, control that weight on the way down. Really just tapping and going with that chest press. All right, find a tempo that works for you. Again, 40 seconds of work is a good amount of time. All right, so think about our form here. Really think about pushing those shoulder blades back into the floor. Out of five, out in four, three, two, one, and recover. All right, team. Standing back up, we have a bent over T row. All right, team, 10 seconds here. Time flies by, I know, time flies by when we are having fun. First round, we are learning it. So bent over row here, 
sheet feet are gonna be shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees, push those hips back. That back is parallel to the floor or a little higher. We are rowing up in a T formation. So those arms up into the elbows wanna make that nice T formation here. All right, those arms should be hitting a 90 degree bend as you go up into that T row. All right, again, 40 seconds of work is a good amount of time. Think about maybe scaling back on the weight if you have that option, since it is an extended period of time. <clears throat> good, last seven seconds here. Push those hips back, back is flat. Add in two, one, and time. Rest, 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 drop the weight because we are on the floor here for 20 seconds of knee tucks and then 20 seconds <clears throat> of that V up sit hold. All right, <clears throat> 20 seconds here of knee tucks, just like our chest press position. Hands can be underneath our hips or off to the side. Here we go team, 20 seconds here. Keep that head back onto the floor here. Good, hips come up as your knees tuck in close to our chest if they can. Extend your feet all the way out hovering over the floor here. Last three seconds and we're going to that V hold. Two, one. All right, extend up, recline back. Heels are up and above the floor and we are holding team. Holding, holding, holding into that reclining position. Again, keep that back flat. That chest is up. That gaze is looking mm, somewhat at the ceiling, if you will. Last two, one and time. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> what do we think of round number one? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> That's a, that is over. First. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. First round is first round is over. First round is over. So again, first round, first round we learn it. Second, third, and fourth round is a great time to really uh, kick it up a notch if we can. All right, thirty seconds here of your recovery time. And then we'll jump back into round number two. <clears throat> but now we, learn, now we know the movements. Now we can kind of control and really say, okay, can I challenge myself a bit more? Can I scale up on my weight if I have that option? Or can I slow down my tempo and really work on their timing under tension? And that can really help challenge us with a lighter weight. All right, team, find that weight once again. We have lateral raises with that reverse lunge coming up in two, one. Here we go, team, lateral reverse lunge here to a nice strong lateral raise. Good. All right. <clears throat> I like to take my resistance training just a little bit slower. Really working on checking all my boxes here. Is my chest up? Are my shoulders rolled back and not caving forward? Um, <clears throat> is my head? you know, in alignment with my spine. Is it looking forward? Nice. Five seconds left, team. Last rep here, out in two. Drive back up, finish it out, and time, recover here. Chest press coming up. <clears throat> Good, 10 seconds here. <laughs> All right, team, we are up in five. <clears throat> Last three two and we are up 40 seconds on the clock we're extending back down again control that weight push those shoulder blades back into the floor think about our breathing as well all right that really helps out as we push or as we pull so a nice deep breath in on the way down exhale as you push up on the way up <laughs> that helps out on a lot of movements here think about our breathing Deep breath in, exhale on the way up. Last seven seconds here, team. We're almost there, finished out. Add in three, two, one, and time. Good job. All right. Lower body push movement. Now we have a pull, so we're back into our pull movement. Find that workout, find that dumbbell that works for us here. Seven seconds. We are up in three for that bent over T row. All right, feet shoulder width apart. Hinge at those hips, push those hips back. Making a nice T formation with our arms here. Good, so our breathe cadence for this movement would actually be deep breath in on the way down. 
and exhale on the way up. Again, push those hips back. We need to reset, stand back up, shake it out, roll it out, take a little bit of tension off of that back, reset, come back into that hinge position and finish out our time here for the last three, two, one, and time. Good job, recover, recover. We are on the floor for some core work. To finish out round number two, 20 seconds of those knee tucks and then 20 seconds of that V sit up hold. All right, team, five seconds here. Once again, we're on our back here. Two, one. All right, team, leg extended out. Drive those knees up towards our chest. Good. Get 20 seconds of knee tucks. We can lift those hips up as our knees come to our chest. That's great. Last two seconds here, and we're gonna just sit up one and go into that V. Sit up, hold, recline back, hands are up. If we need to kind of check ourselves, we can put our heels on the floor. Take a little bit of tension off. Four, three, two, one, and recover team. Good job. Good job, not an easy round. Not an easy <laughs> round, good work. Good work team, good work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we are earning our breakfast, our lunch, and our dinner today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, team. As we recover for 30 seconds, again, remember how hydration is so important for us as we go through our workouts, whether you're indoors, in the gym setting, in the home setting, or um, outdoors. Uh, you know, remember weather um, and what we drink uh, throughout our day or maybe the day before always plays a role and how much we've perspired it. So really think about intaking that water for hydration. Not only is it good for your workout, but as a full body um, <laughs> performance wise, it can go a long way. So we have five seconds here into that reverse lunge, into that lateral raise up in three, two, one. Here we go team. Reverse lunge, nice and controlled. Again, if your tempo is faster than mine, that's great. If it's slower, that's okay. That's where we're at today. Good. If it's not as deep, that's okay. Go back to our comfort level once again. 14 seconds here. Think about breaking down your steps as well. All right, nice proud uh, stance here. Think about stepping back first, dropping down, standing back up, standing up. Lateral raise. And two, one, and recover, team. Good job. Chest press coming up. 10 seconds here. <sighs> Round three, this is flying by. All right. Three seconds here. Weight is up. We are back. Two, one. Here we go, team. Nice controlled with movements with our weight once again. I like to tuck my elbows in just a little bit. So if we are looking at an aerial view here, my arms are actually in more of an arrow stance instead of a T stance uh, as, they hit the, as they tap the floor here with my chest pressed. That may take a little bit of tension off of our shoulders uh, and it may be a little bit more comfortable for you. Try it out, everybody's different. Last seven seconds team, out in five, keep pushing, three, two, one, and recover. <laughs> Good job. Good job as we stand back up and go up to our T-bar, our T-bar, our T-rows. Such very good work over there. I see us. Thank you, thank you. I see it's working. I'm feeling the burn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hinging at the hips here. Push those hips back and down. 40 seconds on the clock into those T-rows. All right. <laughs> I'm feeling the burn as well. <laughs> Think about our breathing once again. We can go a long way. Keeping that head in that neutral position. So you want to just look down to the floor, maybe a few feet out in front of you, about two. 12 seconds. Do what we can here if we need to reset. Stand back up, shake it out, take some tension off of that lower back if you have. 
push those hips back as if you're pushing in a car door. Last two, one, and time. I guess it could be any door, huh? <laughs> All right, team, good job. All right, finishing out the round here with our core exercises, our core movements to finish this out. Nice, strong core can really help us through actually through all of these movements here we go team two one knee tucks here good and if we couldn't tell an exhale is going to be performed as we drive those knees up all right four seconds here we'll go into our isometric hold here two one finish out that rep good let's go into that v sit up Palms are facing up, proud chest, shoulders are rolled back, head is looking slightly up here, heels are off the floor. Again, 45 degrees on our back as we recline back out into one and time. Good job. <laughs> Those holds are not easy. So good work, team. Good work. Good on us. We are building, we are building our strength week after week. Don't forget what we do in here can be applied outside of our gym facility as well, or home facility or our workout facility. It's always adaptable. It's always functional to movements that we may do on a daily basis, right? Um, <clears throat> as we recover for 30 seconds. A lot of these movements, uh, you know, a reverse lunge, if we need to step back, if we need to pick something up off the floor or stepping back into that lateral, that reverse lunge these are all movements that we can do on a daily basis chest press if we need to push ourselves up off the floor we need to push in a door push in something we're using that sort of press movement lateral lunge reverse lunge with a lateral raise coming up in three two one here we go team 40 seconds on the clock last round makes it our best round sergeant barry indeed our best round for sure there we go Good, 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 good. Good work team, 20 seconds in, 20 seconds left. Sergeant Barry, I love how controlled you are with your weight over there. Can go a long way. Last seven seconds here. Out in five, three, two, one, and recover team, recover. 20 seconds here, sticking with my pair of dumbbells, we have that chest press here coming up. Good job, team. Six seconds. We are up. We are laying on the floor here, getting ourselves ready. Weight is up in three, two, one. Feet are on the ground. Pinning those shoulder blades back into the floor. Touch and go on our elbows to the floor. And think about our breathe cadence as well. Exhaling on the push up. Good. Good job, team. Head is rested back onto the floor for the most support, that most uh, stability here. Out in 10 seconds. Good. Five. Out in three, two, last rep, and good job. Recover here. <laughs> Bent over row, pop up nice and proud because we have a bent over row. Second to last movement to finish this out. Find that weight here. Good, let's get ready. Set ourselves up, feet shoulder width apart. Soft bend at those knees, push those hips back. Back is flat, head is neutral, and we are rowing. That T row here, to be exact. With this T position, it's gonna hit a little bit of a higher uh, part of our back versus a bent over row, palms facing each other. That would hit a little bit more of our mid to lower lats there. Here we're targeting our upper back, our traps, our shoulder blades are coming in play. Good. As always with each pull movement, our biceps are feeling more activation as well. In three seconds, we are recovering. Last two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Good job, team. Good job. Way to stay with us. Drop off that weight because we won't need it again today for this one. <laughs> All right, team. We are on the floor for that last set. 
All right, Sergeant Barry, last set, best set. Last set, best seconds. set. There we are. Knee tucks, 20 seconds of work here. And then we will switch to that B up. Finish this out. 10 seconds. Finish it out, team. Nice, strong movements. Switching in two, one. All right, team, hold that V up sit position here. Hold that V up. Good job. Keep holding. Seven, five seconds here, team. Keep holding, keep holding. A little bit extra, a little bit extra. And time. <laughs> ah, good work. Good work, Beef Fit Nation. Good work. Recover, recover, recover. Round of applause for us today because this was a tough one. This was a tough one. Loving it. Don't stop, don't stop. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Stacy coming in with the words of encouragement here when the will is strong. Uh, <laughs> when the will is strong, everything is easy. Absolutely, absolutely. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. That mind over matter, that mind can push you through mentality. Um, again, good work. Phyllis. Hello, Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. <laughs> there, <laughs> there it is, team. Um, great job today. Great work, as always, putting in the work for us today for our BFIT Live program for not only our, our program, but for us, right? This is, this is about uh, as being a, a better version of ourselves, a stronger version of ourselves, a more healthier version of, of ourselves with our BFIT Live platform, with our programs, our program workouts. And as always, the exchange is here to help support whatever goal that you may have to help achieve that healthier lifestyle, that better version of yourself, that stronger version of yourself. We are here to support you with our own, not only our in-store, um, products and programs like our, our health and wellness options, uh, our wellness options in our mall areas, our, our, our sporting goods and our athletic apparel and our footwear and our uh, fitness trackers inside of our stores, but as well as our express stores where we have healthier choice options uh, with tag more than 400 items uh, that you can find surfing the, the aisles and that can help you make that, make that smart snacking option as well as the exchange restaurants once again for those better for you options and more than 1,700 restaurants where you can choose from better options for that nutritional support, just as hard as we work in here or wherever we may be uh, you know, with our strength and our wellness as far as fitness goes. Remember to supplement that with proper nutrition as well as proper recovery and wellness and proper sleep. So we're here to help support you in whichever way that you may, your path may take you on to help support you leading a healthier lifestyle. So great job today, Be Fit Nation. Sergeant Barry, how are you doing over there? Yeah, I feel great. Another fantastic workout and proud of myself just for showing up because that's the hardest part and feel good. <laughs> Fantastic. I, you know, I, I always say that showing up is the hardest part. It, it really, it really is. It's, it's putting that mind into motion setting, you know, I'm, I'm going to show up today and that taking that step to just show up and, and letting yourself uh, get carried away through the blood flow, the oxygen levels, the endorphins and, and, and really saying, okay, I'm going to feel so much better after this workout. And it truly, you, you truly do feel a lot better after these workouts. Um, just with your blood flow and your oxygen levels, you, you're, you're a little higher on your, um, your heart rate. So, uh, you know, this, this can all accumulate and compound to um, a healthier, healthier version. So uh, with that, great job, BeFit Nation. And um, we will see you. Yes, we will see you next Monday as I check my watch. Uh, at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, we'll be here. Sergeant Barry, we'll be here as well. I'll be here. All right, team. <laughs> All right, team. <laughs> Signing off here, Roy Montes, Deep Ambassador, Sergeant Barry. We will see you next round. Cheers.